Hi everyone, so I recently filmed a response video to an article that was written about the expose at CJ Byford & Sons. The article was heavily biased towards the industry's response, so I suggested that I post a whole phone conversation with the media so people can get a good idea about what is said to the media compared to what they report. And because this matter is now in the public's interest, I thought I would go ahead with posting that whole conversation so you can hear it now. There were some production issues, so don't mind the blurs and some of the cuts were cutting out some of the discussion between me and the camera person. But for the most part, everything that I said to the media is here. I just wanted to have a chat about your slaughterhouse video, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. No problems. Okay. Um, so I just want to get straight in. And obviously, I spoke to reps from the slaughterhouse, um, and they said you infiltrated their site illegally, and have pointed to your criminal record as a sign that you should. So, what's your response to that? And could you clear up your record for me? Well, investigators have left cameras in their facility. Um, don't think anything illegal has taken place. What is more profound is actually what's on the footage, and that's what she's trying to actually avoid. So she's she's doing a diversion tactic. She's she's pointing to my criminal history, which has got nothing to do with her son abusing animals. He clearly was frustrated with the cow, grabbed the cow by the nose, pulled the cow's head down, swore at the cow and bolt, bolted them in the head and then said, how does that feel? The cow was clearly not stunned correctly, actually. So you could see the cow flailing around um, when he was putting the knife in the cow's neck. Tell me, tell me about the whole process of creating the video, like how you found out about the slaughterhouse, when you decided to get the footage, all that stuff. Um, so I was tipped off by investigators about this place and um, we were hoping to find uh, dairy cows uh, being slaughtered and it turned out they were, they were local beef cattle. Um, a lot of people think that because a slaughterhouse is local and only slaughters local animals that it's somehow different to what, what happens in other slaughterhouses. I'm just trying to dispel that myth. The animals in the footage were distressed, were bellowing out. They were clearly trying to escape the knockbox. Um, one of them ripped their horns off in the process. They were so terrified. She gave the impression to me that everything was all super humane and nice and kind in there and the animals had no idea. One thing she did say to a concerned uh, consumer who'd emailed her, and I've made another video about this, is that the footage was fake and doctored. Mm, yeah. so, so I'd like to know which one is it? Is the footage fake and doctored or is it because I'm a criminal? What is her excuse? You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, these seem like divert, ridiculous diversion tactics. I have a criminal history that, and I haven't reoffended for nearly 10 years. I've been sober and vegan and now I fight for animals. What has that got to do with her son currently committing acts of horror to animals in her slaughterhouse. Um, it's just, it's absolutely absurd and ridiculous. Um, so the footage doesn't lie, actually. Um, we have been emailed by the FSA. They would like to see the footage. I can send it raw, unedited with all the faces unblurred. I've got no pro The only reason their faces are blurred is because of YouTube's privacy um, policy. Otherwise, I would release yeah. images of them. I don't, I don't think they should. Um, this, this is a matter of public interest, actually. Um, that she's, she's gaslighting the public because I told her I was media. She lied to me. Um, she said, well, there's a vet there. Well, yes, there was a vet there. And yes, they are recording, potentially with CCTV in there. But things were still happening on the footage. Um, she told us it was all fine and dandy and, uh, it's one of the most horrible scenes you could, you could imagine. And no one would expect that happening in a family run grandma owned local slaughterhouse. But what we're trying to show is that it doesn't matter if it's a slaughterhouse, it's a slaughterhouse. The animals go in against their will and come out chopped up into pieces. Why do people think that the animals submit willing to, willingly to this? It's just, uh, even, even if the animal was stunned correctly, the ones, uh, there was one that was, that animal bellowed out in fear beforehand. They saw, they could clearly see other animals being chopped up. The, the, 
The slaughterhouse owner lied to me and told me that they didn't, they couldn't see that other animals being chopped up, but they could. But my position is that we shouldn't be doing this to them at all. Whether, whether uh, they, they, cause they don't even adhere to their own standard of what they say is humane actually. Uh, you know, so the story they tell the public is that it's all, they do it uh, in this humane way. I don't think there is a humane way to kill someone. Actually, I think that um, the very act of robbing these animals' existence from them, once they, once they are alive and conscious, to kill them for a, a steak or a sandwich or a burger is not justified, I don't think. I, I think that, that that can never be humane. The only humane slaughter is, uh, is when uh, it is in the being's best interest not to live because of their suffering is so bad that to continue living is is just too horrible for them and there's no way of saving them that that is the only time you can compassionately take someone's life for a burger sandwich or for monetary gain like you have to also remember that that slaughterhouse is not doing it for altruistic reasons they're doing that to make money so of course they're going to have a they have a vested interest in killing those animals. So of course they're going to tell and that that's a that is their business. So they're going to defend their business. They're going to try to like already making character attacks at the at me the uh, the investigative journalist, okay, which has nothing to do with what's going on in her facility. It's because she's defending her business and her way of life and trying to save face. But we don't have a vested interest in exposing what happens to these animals. We, we have the, the animal's interests at heart. We don't want them to be killed at all. We don't want to eat them. We want them to be respected and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I totally get where you're coming from in terms of all this. So um, just the final thing that I want yeah. to ask Joey is, do you have any pictures or photos of the slaughterhouse that you can send me? Um, or do you have like, could I take like stills from the video or something that I can use for the slaughter? You have my complete permission to use anything that is public access of mine. Okay, great. That's great. Um, so honestly, Joey, this was a pretty quick chat. That's all I needed from you. I okay. just needed to clear some things up. So okay. that was great. Thank you. Thank you. For no that. worries. I appreciate it. Um, I uh, hope to, I'll, I'll publish your article when, it, when it's published. I, will have, okay, I look great. forward That's to really seeing. Thank you. I Thank look you forward to seeing an unbiased article when both sides being represented. And uh, if if she has tried to use my criminal history as a, an excuse for her son's behaviour, that would be quite quite interesting to read, actually. Because uh, if she thinks that, that if she thinks that that somehow justifies her son's behaviour, so the behaviour of someone else ten years ago, um, then that's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, so everyone can get away with anything now <laughs> so if, mm, because yeah, of the yeah. way I acted back then when I was a young stupid idiot. That, that, that justifies what you were doing currently, you know? <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, I get what you mean. And just to be fair um, and to be clear, it's um, the statement that I got was from the representatives of oh, really? the slaughterhouse. Not, yeah, not the slaughterhouse themselves. So, so oh, 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 so it wasn't the, the grandmother who owned the slaughterhouse who said that? No, no, I didn't. I didn't actually talk to her. I called them twice on both their numbers. Okay. But then I got called back from like the association of meat suppliers. So I, yeah, the statement was from them. Okay. And and the association who supply the meat, and so it's not. It's it's representatives no, no, of. No, it's um. Uh, let me just find their name for you. One second. It's um. It's yeah, because I, I I I wouldn't want to pl like hammer her for something that she didn't say. I, I'd like to keep it accurate. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, so I got the statement from the Association of Independent Meat Suppliers, which the slaughterhouse is a member of, as a part of. So they're speaking on behalf of them, if you get what I mean. I get what you're saying. The association, yeah. I'll be very clear then um, about that particular statement, but the uh, do have a screenshot of the, um, the slaughterhouse owner telling um, a concerned consumer that the footage is doctored and vegan propaganda. Um, okay. and that is in the video entitled, uh, just, just for your information, like what she's been, if, if I thought that that was quite interesting that she, I do have the original screenshots as well from, uh, it was a meat eater actually, who the, the video is entitled, she actually responded. You won't believe what she said on my channel. And, um, it was a meat eater who was just shocked about, at what they saw, who was saying, uh, you know, um, just basically criticizing what they saw and then. 
She responded by saying, for your information, I regret that you will accept a doctored fake video and the vitriol of vegan propaganda. Um, and then she basically went on to say that their FSA qualified vets there and that we have 24 hour four seven sealed recording. The FSA have contacted me, so I'm sending the complete unblurred footage to the FSA to analyze and we'll see if they think it's doctored. Yeah, and I've been in touch with the FSA as well, to be honest, so I'm just waiting on a statement from them as well. So, you know, okay, I'm, I'm glad you're writing about this. It's interesting. Um, not many people have uh, picked this up. It's uh, but maybe in, in due course. But the you know the petition has sixty seven thousand signatures. Have you seen that? Yeah, I talked to the I talked to the woman who created the petition as well. So yeah. All right. No worries. Good talking to you. Yeah, you too, Joe. Thank you. Thank you for this. No problems. All right. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. bye. So that was interesting. Um, the. So the, the Association of Independent Meat Suppliers have said that uh, I illegally obtained the footage and I have a criminal history. So that therefore justifies everything that happens in slaughterhouses from this point onwards. Any type of animal cruelty that happens, um, because I have a criminal history, it's justified now. How absolutely ridiculous. But the journalists seem nice. Um, maybe I'll make a response to their article when it comes out. So we'll wait and see.